discarded fishing nets are four times more harmful to marine life than all other forms of ocean plastic combined. Ben has his background in sustainability, Dave was working in finance, and I had been working in design and engineering, and we had this common interest of the ocean and, and wanting to protect it. It was something that we all grew up around. For us, it's, it's like medicine, getting in the ocean and being around it. It was instilled in me by my parents that you really need to protect the places that you love. This idea of untangling our oceans really came from, you know, looking at these fishing nets and finding out, okay, where can we make a solution? What we came up with was an idea to recycle it into higher value, positive products. In the case of fishing nets, this is a material that is creating a livelihood and a protein source for billions of people in the world. The fishermen are salt of the sea and they know that they get their livelihood from the ocean and if they pollute it and contaminate it, that that's going to go away. Ya que años atrás nadie se dedicaba a la recolección, ni menos, mucho menos darle un uso diferente a las redes de pesca. Y hoy en día le podemos dar un uso y fabricar cosas que antes no se podían fabricar. It was a source of pride for them, and we started to see a chain reaction where we were getting approached by more communities because they started to have it click and understand there's a real solution here. The fishermen now start collecting those nets back at its end of life. The nets are then separated, cleaned, and then sent to our recycler in Santiago, where the nets then get recycled back into pellets. And those pellets are the same form as virgin plastic for injection molding purposes. We started to realize if we can link up with companies that align with our mission and our values, we could take this thing to a whole nother level. We want to work with companies like Costa who really care about the environment. They really care about the ocean. They're doing it because it's the right thing to do taking our plastic and making sunglasses that you can use to enjoy the ocean just fits so well with what we're really all about. It fuels you every day with this work. It all goes back to where we started, which was growing up by the ocean and falling in love with it from day one. This is people trying to come together as companies and individuals and environmentalists and, and everyday people on the beach that just want to be a part of the solution. The people wearing the glasses become the agents of change. Like, they're the ones that are able to tell people the story that, hey, these were made from waste from fishing nets, but we can all be a part of the solution for a cleaner ocean.